for the first time since the pandemic shut down sports. American Family Field will be back to full capacity this afternoon. That hasn't happened since fall of 2019. The team hosting a reopening day today. Now the Brewers hosting the Colorado Rockies tonight through Sunday, and, and then we got the Chicago Cubs coming to town early <laughs> next week. So going to be busy at the ballpark. Ryan Jenkins live inside American Family Field this morning. Ryan? Yeah, good morning. I'm here with Rick, and Rick's already asking, are Vinny and Susan there? He wants to make sure we have a chance to say good morning. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Vinny. You know, we're talking about this return to full capacity here at American Family Field. I know you're the president of business operations, so you've been a really critical part of keeping everyone safe at 25 percent, 50 percent capacity. How are you feeling as we head into 100 percent capacity? Well, full capacity is full employment. A lot of people are employed. A lot of fans can attend. It's great to be back to normal. And, you know, it's exciting. It's weird to think of opening day in June, but here we are. And, and again, for fans who have been shut out from attending games, you know, we have 43 games for the rest of the regular season where fans can attend without restrictions. So we're looking forward to big crowds. And we know the fans are excited, but you also mentioned everyone who works here, right? How many jobs are we talking? What's the impact? Yeah, it's like 3,000 jobs every game. And, you know, you're talking about 1.8 million labor hours over the course of a baseball season. So if you multiply that by the number of dollars paid, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of employment. It's a lot of opportunities. And folks missed all that last year. And at reduced capacity, obviously, we only had a, a smidgen of the workforce. But now we can have a full workforce, uh, get people employed, get fans here, get the engagement, get the excitement, and hopefully a Brewers victory today. We're talking nearly 42,000 seats in this ballpark. And you've been really working towards this moment for more than a year now. You've been working with the mayor, uh, Tom Barrett. You've been working with Governor Tony Evers. Earlier this week, you sent them a letter thanking them for their partnership. What was that partnership like? Yeah, they've been great listeners. They've been great advocates. Uh, we've certainly worked with them and worked with their administration closely to try to get to full capacity. I always felt we could do it safely and responsibly. Here we are. I would have liked to have been there earlier, but the point is, is we're here and it's exciting. And, and I also wanted to remind them, as they know, how many jobs are created by, by the brewers at full employment, at full capacity, and, and what it means to the community that we're able to now have full fans access. Rick Schlesinger, thank you so much for waking up early with us on TMJ4 News today. We are excited for you. We're excited to see this ballpark back at full capacity. Guys, I'm going to send it back to you in the studio.